Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about instrument cable schedule. What we learn here, first of all we will discuss about what is cable schedule and then purpose of cable schedule, input required for making of cable schedule, details in cable schedules and procedure for making cable schedules. So in below snap you can see this is the snap of the cable schedule. So that means we prepared a tabular form for cable schedule. So first of all, what is cable schedule? As we know that our field instrument are connected to control room via junction boxes. So few cables can be run from field to junction box and then junction box to control room. Sometimes from the junction box, the multi-pair cable will go to the control room. Sometimes from field to direct control room, direct turn cable also run. So meanwhile, there will be thousands of cable from field to the junction box and junction box to the control room. So how we can identify where we have to laying the cable, how to cutting the cable. So for multiple of regions, we need to prepare the cable schedule. So cable schedule is a document containing a list of instruments cable. Cable schedule is a reference in preparing material takeoff of cable of procurement. So these documents contain a lot of information about the cable and cable laying and the same shall be required for detail engineering purpose. So the purpose of cable schedule if we prepare the cable schedule in any project then we can calculate the cable quantity and we can do the procurement for the cable. We prepare the cable material takeoff based on the cable quantity and cable schedule used at construction site. So definitely these documents will go to the site and the site people will work on that. So basically if we have no cable schedule then cutting up cables and uh, laying up cables from one instrument to the junction box and from the junction box to the control room will be very difficult. So this document will help us to know about the cable cutting and laying of the cables. To prepare the drum schedule, so basically cables come in different different drums. So that drum should be dispatched to the particular area of the plant so how we can know that which drum to be in which area and in which unit so we need to prepare a drum schedule also and that drum schedule required cable schedule to prepare to prepare the cable specifications in next video we will see we have to prepare the cable specifications because Cable specification is a technical document where we mention all the technical details about cable and that document will go to the different different vendor. We will take the technical quotation from different vendor. So for preparation of cable specifications, first of all, we need to know the total cable quantity and that will be come out with cable schedule. To identify the cable termination points, this cable schedule is very important because if you see in next slides then we can understand the cable is generated from any point and it is terminated to any other point. So we can know for each cable's termination points. To identify the particular cable during diagnostic this cable schedule will help because due to the this cable schedule we can track the cable and the signal going through to reduce unnecessary cut wastage over or less purchasing reduce project cost is also based on this cable schedule so cable have a much quantity of cost for the project so we can reduce our project cost based on the cable schedule Input required for cable schedule. Whenever we will prepare the cable schedule, then we have to refer the PNID, instrument index, IO list, instrument design basis, basic engineering design data, 
vendor package interface details so basically these are the document can be used during the preparation of cable schedule in an engineering phases of any projects details in cable schedule so if you will see the cable schedule in that cable schedule these are the field will be used like we have to specify the area units of projects any routes where cable will be going cable name cable code cable size cable type cable color cable started from means starting point and cable terminate to means end two of the cables so end one and end two we need to specify in cable schedule then cable length means one cable from starting to ending point means from end one to end two what is the length of the cable that is required and then underground or above ground so we have to specify whether this cable is underground or above ground and cable overall diameter and cable overall diameter uh, above armoring and cable overall diameter below armoring so these details is also help us for the terminations or glanding purpose so these are the minimum details that we had in cable schedule if you want to add some more details then also we can put but that is not necessary because for quantity purpose and the specifications purpose these information are sufficient so this is the snap of the cable schedule we have you can see all the fields that we have discussed earlier is mentioned here so every fields have a specific column and then we have to fill the details i can open this in different excel file now i can explain you how to prepare this cable schedule so first of all we need to know how the cable connections are going on in the field and that we need to put on paper so from one field instrument a single pair cable will go from field instrument to the junction box that means that is the one single pair cable so if there are hundred number of field instrument which are going to some particular junction boxes so there will be hundred number of individual cables so these cables will be one pair or two core or one triad cable these types of single pair or a two core or one triad cable similarly from the junction box multi pair cable will go to the number of multi pair because the number of junction boxes will be there so we have to calculate the quantity of the junction boxes we have to calculate the quantity of the field instrument then we can know how much the single pair or secondary cable and the primary cable is going on so based on that we can prepare this cable schedule so cable schedule if you want to prepare then you can prepare it for branch cable and main cable so branch cable that means the field instrument to the junction box this cable is known as single pair sometimes if we are using the single pair or one triad or branch cable or sometimes we can also say that it is secondary cable and the main cable this is called multi pair cable it is generating from any panel in the field and going to the control room so any multi pair cable having the multiple pairs or multiple triads uh, cables is called the main cables or primary cables so we can prepare the cable schedule for branch cable also and main cable also so this is the difference of branch cable the branch cable from field instrument to the junction box and the main cable is from junction box to the control room so basically main cable is multi pair or multi triad or multi core cable so this is the two different sheets for different types of cable one is for branch cable and second one is for main cable so now branch cable if you want to put the cable number then definitely we know that the branch cable is generated from field instrument so we can put the cable name based on the field instrument so you can see 
here the first cable i have put it based on the fitp 30507 ab-c-001 so with this instruments i have put the one cable uh, for another instrument i will put another uh, two three four like that although the cable number philosophy can be different for different project but yes for each every instruments we have one individual or branch cable so the number of branch cable will be the based on the number of instrument in field that are going to junction box and we have to specify the cable sizes also like it is one pair one triad and two core this types of cable it is and this conductor size also we have to specify and the wire color blue and white and the overall sheath color it will be blue and the cable type it is signal cable or control cable and uh, it is starting from field instrument and the cable length it is 25 meters so based on the distance between field instrument the junction box we have to put the cable length and uh, again it is terminated to the junction box and it is above ground so these details will be based on the vendor data they will fill later and the drum number of this cable is this means this cable is part of the drum t-11100 and that this term to be supplied in area 100 so you can see this is the one cable similarly we have other cable also that is the branch cable so if we put the quantity for each branch cable then at last we have the total quantity we can add so this way we can find out the branch cable quantity the main thing we have to remember about the branch cable schedule is that branch cable is generated from the failed instrument and terminated to the junction boxes and this branch cable is also called single pair or single triad cable or sometimes it is also known as individual cables so few things we have to put very carefully one is cable number second is cable size because the cable size could be differ based on the project specifications and the color also we have to specify very carefully and it is terminated to where like which in which junction box it is terminating so these few points is very important for the cable schedule of branch cable similarly for multi-pair cable the same way we have to prepare the multi-pair cable will generate from any junction box or any from any panels which is on either on field or anywhere like in any other room and it is going to control room uh, area so this multi-pair cables multi-pair means there will be multiple pairs because each junction box have capacity of multiple instrument connections through the branch cable so each multi-pair cable have the multiple number of pairs so that is called the main cable because it is the main cable of the project and it is the a higher outer diameter so it is very heavy very costly so basically this is called main cable so main cable is generated from any panel and going to any other panel like marshalling cabinet so same way we have to specify here also like cable number so what is the philosophy of cable number it could be the different for different project but generally we use from the generating points so where it is generated that will be the uh, cable number with some additional uh, text suffix or prefix so here we have uh, created uh, some cable number based on the junction box like because we have the junction box 16p and we put it the c in the junction box and then dash jbai ac001 so if we exclude this c if we exclude this this portions from the cable number then that is the junction box so this way we are preparing so this is the cable number again the cable size we know that uh, the cables conductor size and the number of pair it is and it is multi pair cable generating from junction box and going to the marshalling cabinet 001 
and the cable length it is 150 meter so similarly the number of junction boxes and the number of panels we can count and in that in that way we can also count the multi-pair cable and by the following some routes we can find out the cable length and if we add the total quantity then we can have the multi-pair cable quantity so by this way we can prepare the either branch cable or multi-pair cable so here is a also a line diagram you can see from field instrument to the junction box this is called secondary cable a branch cable or individual cable or single pair or two pair cable sometimes this is also two pair cable we use generally if you remember the on of wall there is two di means two limit switches are there so for these two limit switches one we can put the two pair cable and it can go to the junction box so this is the branch cable and from the junction box to the control room the main or primary or multi-pair cable will go these are the different names of these cables cable pair could be different like one pair two pair four pair eight pair twelve pair sixteen pair and twenty pair pair and core cable pair cable triad cable shield these are the wire could be used that we will see in cable specification part so this is all about cable schedule if you have any query then you can put in comment box till now thank you so much for watching watching this video